Hey y'all, B Bridges 100 here. Well, guys, here's a little look at the Bridges Cutlery SOCOM. Been working on it. Um, so you can see, I got some places to clean up here on the Ricasso and uh, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with how this is turning out. I had a little problem here, and let's see if I can focus. Focus. Yeah, see a little divot here in the handle scale? It happened when I was trying to push that pin in today uh, when I epoxied these handles on. So, this is kind of for SOCOM Elite 187. I'm still going to hand sand and try to get this more smoothed out. Just let me know if this is going to be okay or uh, if you want me to just redo the knife. <laughs> I'll do it. I will gladly do it. Um, I do have an edge on there. I don't know if you can see that very well on here or not. Hey, you kind of see the edge. Doesn't want to zoom or zoom focus real well, but there you go. You kind of see the edge there. For some reason didn't come out perfect right here. I don't know what that what the deal is with all that. To work on that a little bit more. But anyway, it's got a preliminary edge on there anyhow. Uh, it is sharp. I don't have anything here to cut to show you. I guess I should have had something for cutting. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you what it's looking like. Uh, and there she is so far. Let me know what you guys think. SOCOM Elite 187, brother. Tell me what you think. Uh, I got the Kydex just cut. The squares cut out to make... You know, the sheath. Still trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to do it, but I don't have my drill press here anyway with me, so I'm going to have to take it to Cincinnati to drill and all that stuff. But anyway, that's what it's looking like. As you can see, I kind of exposed the tang here. I hope that's cool. It works as like a little glass breaker, maybe skull crusher, whatever. Um, I think it looks a lot better with that exposed. That little spike looks sick, doesn't it? Like a little claw, a little talon sticking out there. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So anyway, uh, still got a lot of work to do. I got some uh, epoxy on the blade when I put the handle on. So, I mean, there's some spots where it's just got glue and epoxy and smudgy stuff all over. Uh, and again, right here on the Ricasso, I'm going to try to get that cleaned back up. Unfortunately, that's a little hard to do with the scales on, so I'm going to do it by hand, do my best here. But uh, I don't have my Dremel or anything, which I would normally use to kind of clean up you know, along here and along the spine as well. Uh, you know, it's all part of this whole traveling back and forth thing, I guess. So anyway, uh, one more trip to Cincinnati. I'll have this finished and uh, also some other some other knives uh, definitely finished, but here's where I'm at on the SOCOM. So just a quick update, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, y'all take it easy.